Casa de Oakenfold, I guess what we're called. Do you have a name yeah. for your wonderful place uh, that we're I at? I do. Stamford Bridge Recording Studios. And this is where all these films you see, all these posters on the wall, are films that I've worked on, either scored or done cues for. Uh, these are all the DJ awards I've won. Um, and my little soccer awards. And here is half of my record collection behind Half me. of your collection. Everything from... Woodstock, Beatles, Grace Jones, I mean, Check Madonna out. track that you A Africa Bamba and the Soul Sonic Force Planet Rock remixes. Love this track. So do you sometimes, in addition to pulling the music in and using, you just sit back and put a piece of vinyl on and listen to it? You know, I just, do. Just for relaxation. And next year on tour, I'm going to be playing from vinyl and CDJ. You so. were saying that. So, so, so you're going to, not just a time code vinyl, an actual piece vinyl. of vinyl with the bumps it's, and the groups. The, next year is the 30 year anniversary of club culture as it's known today. 1987 was that famous story of myself and three friends going to Ibiza. Uh, and turning it into what it's... And turning it into what it is today. Of course electronic music was there before that and clubs were also, but nothing like it is today. And, and that was the birth. And the DJ culture grew and grew and grew to the point that Las Vegas, when you drive around and when you come join us at the at Mobile Beat Las Vegas coming up in March, you drive around town, the billboards aren't yeah. past music starts, it's all DJs. Yep. And when I started my residency in 2008, there was no DJs doing that. Pat Planet Perfecto and myself, were the, we were the first resident DJs to play every Saturday and turn it into what it is. And... And it's great for Las Vegas. I mean, after we were doing our residency, Pasquale went there with EDC. What an amazing event that is, you know. And and as you as you quite rightly said, all the DJs, a lot of the DJs have their residencies there. And I think it's wonderful for finally America to have this hub for electronic music like we do in Europe with Ibiza that we did many, many years ago. The DJ culture, when I was over in, in the UK about 10 years ago, it's a lot more engulfed in the culture. It's become a lot more that lately. I mean, there's kids in high school saying, I want to be a DJ when they grow up. They go out and get themselves a $300 controller. Exactly. And the hook up your Mac culture box. is DJ culture in, in Britain. You know, we've grown up with it for nearly 30 years. So it's a big deal in England. And, you wow. know, hopefully America will be in the same situation 20 odd years down the line. Let's see. So, so you're moving along with music years ago. You're going to Las Vegas. You're mixing other people's music in. How much back then was you with your own vibe versus pulling tracks that other people had? I, I well, don't understand I, the transition into you more of an artist rather than playing other people's music. I, I make music, so I've always played my own music. I remix people, other people's music. Um, so I've always used those components in with what I do and obviously as a DJ playing other people's stuff so yeah it's been good actually now the DJs are playing tracks you made trying to get their own culture their own style on a track yeah. that you remixed of of whoever's and working it into a party absolutely absolutely amazing um give us a little bit of a, of a preview as to what uh we're going to experience with you in Las Vegas and with all the other DJs well I'm going to be sitting there with a lot of my colleagues uh, a lot of my peers and talking and trying to help explain uh, take questions from the floor and just share that experience over the many years that I have uh, with you, the the uh, the guy, the DJ, the lady, the woman who's going to come and, and uh, join us. Um, to wrap things up, one last question for you. DJ culture over the last 30 years, as you're saying, has, has grown. Where do you see the next 10 years going? Do you see it? I, th I, think, uh, I think America's really embraced it. It's part of American culture now, which is great. Uh, I think we're, we're going to get the, the clubber who goes to the EDCs are going to dig deeper, are going to find them more of their favorite DJ, understand more music other than just EDM, um, which, is, which is important. Um, and and I, I, hopefully we're going to see more electronic music in movies like this. Okay, it, fantastic. So come join us in Las Vegas. We're here with Paul Oakenfold um, in Stamford Bridge Studios. Fantastic. Come join me in Las Vegas uh, on March 13th to the 16th at Mobile.